Okay, section three talks about heat engines. Okay, so work can be converted to heat. It's almost like anything we lose, it all of it goes to heat. Uh, but it's harder to turn heat into work. All right, uh, I think the book has a um, a graphic, and I, I I did you a disservice not pointing out all these different figures and illustrations in the book. They're pretty cool. Go look look through the book and look at them. And I think it shows that, like, if you have a paddle wheel in a fluid, if you're spinning that paddle wheel, you're going to heat up the fluid. Uh, but you can't just heat the fluid in order to spin the paddle wheel, right? You know, it, there, it, it doesn't go backwards quite as easily. In order to convert heat to work, we need a special device like a heat engine that we'll talk about. A heat engine. Okay, a heat engine, it receives heat, receives heat from a high temperature source. All right. Then it converts that heat or part of that heat it converts part of heat to some work to, to some work out some work done by our system uh, usually by a usually via a rotating shaft And then it rejects the remaining heat to a low temperature sink. To a low temperature sink. Uh, it operates on a cycle. So whatever states and whatever properties it started with, after it... Uh, gets the heat, converts to work, rejects the heat, it comes back to its starting conditions. It operates on a cycle, and it usually has a, a working fluid. Usually has a working fluid. Uh, refrigerant, water, air, uh, usually it has a working fluid. All right. And usually it's a closed system, or we can... We think about it as a closed system. All right. So if it's closed system, then QN and WN minus the Q out and W out equals zero if it's on a cycle, right? If there's no change from initial, you know, and then one hour later to final, um, if it comes back to its original energies, our conservation of energy equation is this right here. So maybe we'll put the Qs on one side Q in minus Q out. Let's put the W's on the other side. The work out minus the work in. So let's say the Q in that it gets from the high temperature source, right? This is Q in minus the Q out. So it rejects to the low temperature sink, Q out equals work out minus work in, so the work net, right, work net. This Q out represents the um, energy wasted. Q out represents energy that is wasted. And we're always going to have some energy wasted, so we end up having to put in more Q in than the net work that we get because some of that Q out is wasted. But, hey, at least we do get some work. You know, maybe we are putting in a lot of Q. We're putting in a lot of heat. But we are getting some work out. You know, we are rotating. We're taking heat. I don't know. Fire, spark, ignition. Uh, and we are maybe pushing something, rotating something, and getting some work out.
from that heat. Okay, thermal efficiency, and this is of heat engines. Thermal efficiency of heat engines uh, is this eta subscript TH. Thermal eta, eta subscript TH. Efficiency is output over input. Uh, what is the output? Uh, what are we getting out? Work net. Okay? The work, the net amount of work is what we're interested in. That's the work. That's the output. What are we having to put into it? Q in. Uh, or I know that work net is Q in minus Q out over Q in. Let's just subtract both of those. This is one, let me write this, one, my, right, one minus Q out over Q in. All right. For a heat engine, the Q in is the Q from the high temperature source. So I'm going to say Q hot or QH. So this Q in is QH. We're going to call it, this is the heat transfer from a high temperature source. Q out is QL, Q low temperature. And this is the heat transfer to a low temperature sink. So eta is work net over QH or 1 minus QL over QH. So a lot of different formulas that we've got here. So we've got to kind of juggle these around. Uh, work net is QL, QH minus QL, right? And here's another one. Work net is what? Q, let's see, QN, QH minus QL. Uh, Eta is work net over QH, also 1 minus QL over QH. Okay, uh, so, and, and let me go to the link. I, I hopefully I'll send you a link of animation of a um, four-cylinder, I think, engine. Uh, it's pretty cool to look at. Uh, but what efficiencies are, are we looking at? How much heat do we convert to work? For most car engines, Eta is about... 0.25, 25%. A diesel engine, about 0.40, 40%. Large gas turbine plants, uh, 0.40. Uh, a combined gas steam power plant, 0 0.60. 60% is a very good thermal, thermal efficiencies. Ada, the efficiency will never be 100%, even if it was ideal. Uh, we will always have uh, that Q out, that Q waste to get back to where we started from, to complete the cycle. We'll always have Q out to complete the cycle. Okay, so anyway, we've got some equations here that we can use in finding thermal efficiencies in finding the heat transfer and finding the work, the net amount of work that we can get out uh, depending on what sources and what sinks we have.